Hello everyone, this is Roman I will show you today my new update I make for the plugin MA Dual Tool. So you can see here now the version 3 is working great. I can import PMX files and also I can use motion data very easy. You can see this now is PMX model and there is motion data. And you can see it's everything working nice. There is no problem with the rotation hand, rotation body, like the old version there is. Now you can see it's everything working perfect. So let's show you how it's working this great plugin and what is news. Okay, so let's import a model. So let's click import here and I'm going to import now original model PMD. Okay, so here you can see when I import there is a dialog box and you see the name, comment, copyright and this stuff, the model what I have. And this is depending what you check here, you see also here. So let's click OK. And now you can see I have import mode in for d Cool. And also if you notice here there is some very big sphere orange. This is the IK. So you can grab this for example and you can move very easy. And also you can grab the hair and move like this. Okay, so like I want to show you this is the option. The mess basically is the mess of the model. Basically is this here. The morph is here. So we see that the most now there is only one tag. Before the preview view version there is four tags and there is some Python tags of fixed name and stuff and animation. Now only this, only need one tag and you have already. And the nice thing when I go close, you can see I can move this bar and I have the more for the face on this model. See here for example uh, what I do. Very easy. Okay, so let's reset the sliders here. Uh, the next is the material. The material is basically this here you see. The bones is the bones, the, all the bones, the IK bones and all these bones here. The IK is basically this here if you want to have the IK. You see now for example I move this and I can move very easy. And also I can move this sphere, you can see this big sphere, you can grab here and I can move basically up the leg. You can see, you can do stuff like this. And also you can animate if you like. And the nice thing is because in the bones I use freeze uh, transformation here, I can go back very easy. If I select the bone and I use zero zero, you can see now it's going back. And I grab this hair for example, I go zero zero, I go here and I make zero. You can see now I have all back. The other thing you can do is if you have for example move a lot of stuff and, and you go go to back, you can select very easy everything, select the chin roll, you can go character, command and you click reset PCR. This is going all back the original pose. Okay, the IK dynamics. The IK dynamics is basically make automatic IK dynamics. Basically this is for the hair, uh, for something here uh, is moving, something is moving. Uh, also you see here in the hair for example when I move, you see also there is some nice when it's moving you see like IK dynamic. Uh, this is when I go here and I fold, you can see there is here for example in IK you see that there is enable it. Only this does. It basically it's enable the IK when it's fine, there is a lot of bonds. Uh, the constraints basically is the project tag and also the PCR tag. First I want to show you the project tag. The project tag is some bone no need to move or scale. For example, you can see here now I can move this bone because I have protection tag and also I can scale and also only I can rotate. You can see so like this I can move by mistake this bone. And this is very nice because very easy you can animate now. Uh, the PCR tag is used in this the model. In this case on this model as uh, you can see there is eyes. To control the eyes there is this small bone. Because I have connect this PCR with some inside uh, here, you can when I go for example and I rotate this up you can see the eyes going up, down, left, right. And like this you can animate this. Also I fix this in, in this new version. And also there is a width, the width is basically the bind of the bones. For example, this m now when you move the bone is, is follow the the mesh. Uh, the layers is basically the layer I show you here. It's making new layer for you and uh, you have here organized. And also let's show you now the folder uh, what it does. So I make a new complete skin so you can see and I click the folder. When I click the folder and I click import, you can see right away I have here and um, browse the box 
and I can select what folder I like to import. So I go to the files, uh, to the model, and I click on import. So basically, now I, when I have here the model inside the, uh, basically I have here in the folder some models. Basically, this is working only with one folder. If you have folder inside the folder, it doesn't work. Basically, it's fine if you put one folder, you have all the models here. So when I click OK now, basically it's fine all the models export right away in Cinema 4D very easy. You can see how easy it is export now. And the nice thing, uh, when it's done, you see th uh, this is the dialog box and it's saying import th 30 models, OK. And the nice thing, when I go further, you can see here all the model is half a uh, space between. Basically, it's fine automatic egg space. And this now nice, you can see very easy how it looks like. And also, because I use layers, now I can select the model I want. So when I hold the control and I click solo, uh, you can see here the model this. When I click again, you see all. And I can click again and you can see here my model. And like this, you can work very easy. And here you can see also the materials. So you can work with materials you want. And also you have my plugin, you can select this and you click match the solo, uh, this great plugin. So this is the plugin and you click and now you see uh, when I click something, the other side and uh, you see only this model. Okay, so now uh, let's focus for example in this model, this first model. Okay, and I click match solo. Okay, this is the bone, uh, okay this one. Uh, so this is the model. Uh, let's go here and make some settings here. Let's go to the physical. Uh, let's also use amber occlusion. Uh, let's go here and use medium. Uh, let's make a sky. And uh, let's ready this so you can see how it looks like. Uh, you can see it looks like very nice. And also you can put global illumination if you want. So you see how it looks like, very nice now. Uh, also, if you like, you can change a little bit, for example, illumination stuff, if you grab, for example, all the materials here, and you select, and you go to illumination, I use for nice here, and you, for example, you change the arrow here, maybe you want the reflex, you can enable, disable this stuff, and also you can go one by one to make something look perfect, maybe you go down on reflex on this material, this stuff, so like this you can work. Uh, the other thing you can do is, uh, if you want to use, now you can see, okay, let's go to filter and go to join and hide. Uh, you can see now I see when I read in, you can see how it looks like my read in. It looks like like original read in, very nice. And if you want to use like cartoon style, eh, you can go here, uh, this is working only in the standard mode, and you go to effects and you use here um, scale and tune. Okay, and now when I read in this, you have a red and skin and tune. And also you can go here, for example, the material and change the, the thickness to something very small, like this. And if I read again, you can see how it looks like. And you can go here again in, in setting, and you can change this to grandia. And only you need to to find something nice, for example, you can move these bars and you have a different result. For example, when I read in this now, you can see now how it looks like. And I can move this bar here down and I read again and I have a completely different look. You can see now how it looks like. This is in this page what you like to do. Okay? Okay, so now let's uh, show you how it's working the motion uh, animation. So let's go here and click first import the model. Before I click import, you can see there is size. When you go working with the, this plugin, you have to have the same size and the motion must be the same size. If you don't have the same size, this is after that you have problem for the motion you're working. So the motion doesn't work correct. So let's go and I check the folder and let's go and import. Let's go here to the file and this time let's import a PMX. Now the plugins can import PMX files. So let's import this. Okay, and now you can see this is PMX model now. And now let's select 
the null, all you need to select the null and you go to the motion here and you can import now animation so let's click import and let's go to animation and let's import uh, the second here so you can see here now it's creating animation key bones it's creating basically everything and now we can see the bones and the morphs is creating and also now the motion is working better uh, before it's have a lot of problems now if I hit play you can see okay I need to go a little bit further because I need a little time uh, so you can see now it's working perfect you can see the, the moving is better nice see how it's moving this mode is smooth nice and also the rotation problem is, is done now all this fix so basically now the motion port is working much better for the preview version you can see here how it looks like also the morphs okay let's see a little bit so as you can see it's working everything nice okay so let's go to here and import a new you need to select the again the first the null and after that let's import now the first one basically it's reset everything and after that it's import the animation and here you have the second animation okay let's go a little bit further and you can see it's working nice okay let's go a little bit further see everything is working perfect also this is working when you have multi object for example uh, now you see I have this uh, model okay let's do this let's make a new let's go to the model in the folder and let's okay so as you can see here now I have a lot model again so I'm going to report to some model so if I select for example this model here okay let's make uh, this uh, remove let's go here in the layer hold the control and select some models let's say for example okay uh, this are the one uh, let's say this two models so I select the null uh, okay maybe the free also I select these three models and I go to, mo to model I want to import I click the import and I want to import uh, the second uh, motions so because I have select this model or this motion is port to this model to free this model we import the animation okay and now you can see and done and when I click play you can see now all this model have uh, this motion and like this for example you can import uh, the motion where you like to be and the nice thing is you can move for example this model here and you can offset the full animation you can put where you like okay the next thing is, is the frame star here you see here when you use zero basically start for here the animation uh, when you import but when you use something like 500 basically the animation start for the high 500 basically it's offset the motion and okay I want to show you something maybe you have problem when you import motions uh, with the character so let's import for example this model here there is some problems with the legs basically the most problem you find when you import motion is the legs because it's IK so you see when I go up this leg is going it is strange you can see how it looks like uh, I need to close a little bit so I need to go to a uh, fold all and find the first four bones IK here so I go to the first one and it means just I move it to be close something like this so you see the leg now close and I go to the other one so this is the one this is the second and I go here and I make the negative 45 degrees and now when I fix this uh, I can select all these four bones and I can reset the the PCR and the last need to do is yeah, I go to the bind here and I click set both binds and now this is fixed the problem of the legs now you see when I go up the leg is going up and like this you don't have problem when you import something like animation to see some strains the legs going 
Okay, so on the import the camera it's very easy, you go to the motion, you click camera and you click import. After that you need to find a motion to have the camera and you click it. And you see there is camera and image of camera, so this m me is working. Click OK and this creates for you automatic camera now and the camera. And you have animation. Okay, so let's also import one more just to test. Okay, uh, let's click the camera and let's play and you see here, here is the camera. Okay, so you can see the plugin is working great. Uh, you can download from my site, it's free beer. Uh, thank you for watching this video and more plugins coming soon.